What's up, guys? The update is finally out. It is almost 4 a.m. The update just went live. It is a new event. We um, we decided to do a surprise player appreciation event. So, uh, yeah, we just wanted to give back to all the players. Just to say thank you for playing the server. Thank you for making it great. And we look forward to many more good times. So, yeah. I know people kept um, asking about an event, and uh, I did say we were never we weren't going to do an Easter event, and I'm, I'm not lying. This isn't an Easter event. It's a player appreciation event, so you can't call me a liar. But um, yeah, I didn't tell anybody about this, so this is, should be a surprise to everybody. Uh, let's get into what you have here. So uh, for starters, to get there, go to Cone Clone Event, and that will bring you here. You've got these monsters right here, the pirate zombies and the zombie pirates you can kill. I uh, will go over their loot. Zombie. Nothing, you know, too crazy, but they're a pretty simple mob. Uh, the Rod of Ivandis is kind of the, the drop you're looking for. So whenever you have those, you can come over here uh, more to the east side, and you'll have these captains over here which you can donate to. And they have some interesting dialogue if you want to read what they say. They give you a little bit... There's not much of a plot to what's happening here, but they do have an interesting storyline for those that care about that kind of stuff. So um, whenever you donate, let me... Um, so it's six, three, nine, just five. Uh, so you can donate one, you can donate ten. There's also a fishing method. We'll get into that in a second. Um, the fishing method only gives the small bags, and then the rods give the big bags. Uh, you can get these rods from those monsters we just talked about, and then you can also purchase them from Rosalo. But he is back, and he is here now for the moment. So, uh, yeah, uh, let's start it once. Whenever you donate one. This is what you get. Uh, you get two rolls with the large goodie bag, and you get some new interesting items. This thing right here, basically what it does is gives you your prayer back, but it has a one in, out of three chance of uh, degrading. So it's a tech, it, you know, it theoretically could be infinite prayer. Um, so, yeah, it's kind of like the Slurp Juice, but for prayer. And it's a little more powerful, and it's just kind of a common item you can get from these. There's quite a few new little items, and there's some that aren't even in-game yet, and... Um, basically, I'm just talking about the Masiki. I was gonna, I was gonna leave like that as a spoiler, but I feel like more people are just gonna have questions, and I don't. I'm making this video to go over everything to hopefully like prevent questions, just so I can explain everything to you. So this is a more drawn out update video than they normally are, just so I can try to explain everything the most. Um, so there you have, you have the, the large goodie bags. That's one of the things you're going for. There's a lot of really good loot on that table. I know that what a lot of what you just saw is underwhelming, but trust me, there's some good stuff on the on these tables. So. Over here, we do have Rosalo. He's back. This is what he has. He can sell. He sells them as well for 10 mil if you wanted to buy more. So let me just open up, like, let's say what, this would be the equivalent of 100 mil right here. So let's see what 100 mil buys you. Not a whole. I mean, you do get guaranteed puck points, which is nice. So, And like I said, it's not so much the little things. It's that there is some good stuff on this table. So this isn't even, like, the main box as you're seeing from this guy PM me right now, special box is sort of the main box, and you can get that from those, and you can get it from a couple other places. So, um, the next part of the boss, uh, well, I guess the event, we'll just we'll, we'll we'll get into the fishing. Come over to the docks, and you the method you want to do is the bait fishing. You want to get slimy eels, um, and as you saw, you can gamble those, and whenever you gamble those, you get a smaller box, and um, it's the same thing. You just get one roll instead of two, so. It's less good. But roughly the same stuff. So um, that's that method right there. It's pretty simple. You do have to cook them. Uh, cooking was uh, increased, like the speed was increased in this update. So there is that. Uh, if you log into the game, uh, there, I, I want to say one thing there is one issue. Um, if you log into the game and you're having problems with your combat, either equip, uh, equip an, an unequip a weapon, just anything, doesn't matter. That'll work right there. That's not a weapon, but whatever. Um, or use the command uh, fix it, and th that'll fix that problem. Hopefully the problem will be fixed entirely before you're even playing the server, but I'm just saying, if you if you happen to watch this video and then join the server afterwards, you might have to prepare for that. So that is relatively it for everything that is here. If you come over to the uh, docks over here, find a couple more monsters just chilling. Search the boat. And why, why is this on land? This is not supposed to move. That is weird. I didn't expect that. 
It's, I, it's not supposed to, it never moved in any of my testings. I guess it tried to chase somebody when it ran away, when they ran away. That's funny. It doesn't make much of a difference with this peeriness to, to death. So this is the Sea Troll Queen boss. So this boss is actually a group boss. Everybody who does damage to it will get a loot. And let me show you sort of what that's got. Sea Troll Queen. Boom. So you've got a lot of weird high-end loots that are pretty nice. you got some smaller ones that, that'll add up over time. you got to remember that it is a, a group boss. So everybody gets loot. We are going to be massing this boss tomorrow, or actually I guess today, Saturday the 16th at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So it's about 4 a.m. right now. Um, do the math to 1 p.m. and that's how many hours away we are. Uh, as you can imagine, I'm going to bed right after this video and then waking up just to do that stream. But we're going to mass this thing. Um, so one cool thing about the Rod of Vandis is if we um, disassemble it, you get a Vandis dust. And if we go back to event, I, oh, my bad, he said something really nice, and I didn't reply. Back, my bad. Um, so there is another shop over here, AU Real, AU Real, and this is a general store slash, um, general store like you can sell stuff to it too and I hope that Iron Man had access to that that was the intention so. um, there's this item right here in, uh, enchanted vials so buy 40 of those and then combine your dust to it and you will make 40 enchanted potions you do get invention experience right there I probably should have showed that um, but that's not what that's about I was just saying uh, so what these do if we go back to the sea troll queen Probably could have just paused, but you know, it's, it's not that much of a walk. And he's back over here. You can f use it on him and do 250 damage. So one f uh, rod is equivalent to the entire health. How are we supposed to? You're not. It's not. should not be instanced. This two key isn't instanced. A group boss. I don't think it's instanced. I don't. I don't know why they think it's instanced. Maybe because like only one person's been here at a time. Like I said, it is 4 a.m. and I just updated the server, so there's like 15 people on. Yeah, 13 people. So uh, it is a group boss. I can I, it, No, it's just. It should tell everybody the same heights. Let me teleport. Nope, there's no stuff on. I can teleport. Whatever. Teleport to me. Alright. One more. Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> Do damage to this guy. And then, yeah. So you can kind of mass without me if, you, if a couple people collect these. And you can also just do damage to it normally. Um, it does. It is kind of tanky. It does have a damage reduction, and it has a fair amount of health. So keep that in mind. Okay, I thought he. I thought we had it. My bad. Don't get killed. <laughs> See, boom. Buff got loot. It is a group boss. Everybody gets loot. It is multi. Uh, enjoy your loots. Fun time. Okay, no, no, go, go, run away, run away, run away. I'm not. Uh, that was just, that was just the one. <laughs> that was just, that was one for the video. We'll do, we'll do more tomorrow at the mass. Join us more at the mass. So, uh, what else do I got to talk about? So that's roughly it for the the event. Let me show you what the special boxes are look like. These you can get from uh, the Street Troll Queen boss we just saw, and you can get them from those goodie bags we saw. So, and these are kind of tiered around elite mystery boxes. So, so that's a good chunk of that. And then I, you, you can imagine I'm going to have, like, tomorrow and the day after and the day after, I'm going to have a ton of videos and openings. So you don't have to ask. I will be doing opening videos. You'll be able to see those, and I'll, be op I'll open a good chunk. Let's do... I'm hoping I get something, like, really good just to give you an idea of what to expect from these. Obviously, when I do that video, you'll, you'll, you'll get a good idea. Come on, it's good. Just kind of trying to show the variety, I suppose. Sexually transmitted 
quail eggs. <laughs> I don't know. I couldn't think of a better cue. So, uh, I'm just trying. Come on. Come on. Let me get, like, a good loot just so I can show the camera and then end the video. Chronicle. There, there we go. Like, that's, like, I mean, that's the bee's knees right there. Chronicle would be super dope to have. I'll take it. Uh, let's equip some of this stuff. <laughs> just, just try to open all of them. Yeah, so you can get a lot. Of, there's a, trust me, I spent most of the time doing this update on these boxes to, to try to provide variety. Because I know how boring it is to see the same old stuff repeated on every box. So I tried my best to create some variety. And obviously you're going to see some repeats. That's just that's just the nature of, of the game. But um, I had a lot of fun doing it. And hopefully you guys will have a lot of fun doing it yourselves. Uh, in terms of other updates, I'll just sort of go over those quickly. KBD uh, now has multiple rooms. And there was an issue that caused it to not attack you. That's been fixed, so it should be less AFK. Tarn's Lair is now safe. Halloween masks disassemble for more rare components. Scorpia and Chaos Elemental should respawn faster. Your auto cast should save upon logout, as I mentioned earlier. And credits to Steven, he was the one that did that. A smuggler has been added to the Elite Zone, and he can teleport you to Tuz for a fee. Magic Tutor has been updated. Let me show you that one. Um... Magic accuracy has been tweaked a little bit, hopefully for the better. I don't, you know, it's one of those things where it's going to probably take a lot of updates just to get right. So this is just more options, and they're more realistically priced than they than they were before. Um, cooking, like I said, was was in, it was improved. It is faster now. Let me let me actually just show you in inventory. Um, three three seventy nine and twenty eight, because yeah, I believe it's. Uh, I mean, I don't know why this is of all the things I'm showing you, this is the one that I picked. <laughs> But yeah, let's see, it's 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 noticeably quicker. <laughs> it used to be unreasonably slow. That's why I'm sure. Like if you play the game and you've cooked recently, you'll know. You'll know. so so that for those people, they'll be appreciative. Um, Death Dart's work on Gatekeeper slash Giant Rock I fixed an issue with Shayler's special attack. Uh, you can now zoom out further than you used to be able to. You can zoom out this far now. For people that like doing that. I like to zoom out pretty far when I play. Probably not this far. I'll probably chill a little more around here. But to each his own. Um, and that's really it. That's pretty much it. If you want to know what's in the bundles, that little, there's a little screenshot right here. Um, of course, I will have this in the description below. You can expect a ton more videos. I apologize for not having any videos out this week. I know that um, people thought like the server was dying again or anything like that. No, there's no rumors. This is what I was working on. It just took, um, I wouldn't say it took that long. It was just, I had a lot I wanted to do. Like, it, it seems pretty simple from this video, but there was a lot of, like, there's a lot of bits and bobs. And there's even more that I can't really talk about. So, do do what with that information you want. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to end the video there. Uh, there's a stream tomorrow. Come join that. And then, good videos this week. Should be some nice openings and uh, event guides. I'll probably try to do, a, a, like, a, a better video. That's more more about the best way to get rewards rather than just an overview like this one is. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Peace.